guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video firstly just excuse the chaos behind me i'm just having a bit of a wardrobe rejig organize and sort through but this morning i'm actually heading off to go on a little horse riding hat so i thought i would start this vlog here and pick up the camera spend the next day or two with me and yeah we'll see what happens within today's vlog i do know that I want to bring you up to speed with things with the garden just purely because I know my last video was like a garden updates video but they've kind of made a little bit more progress since then and I also want to head to the garden centre possibly pick up some lavender I'm thinking lavender on the left hand side of the like the lower beds so yeah that is today's vlog, a nice kind of country feel vlog with us going horse riding this morning. There is the Holly's Farm Shop near that horse riding school, so I might go via that on route back just to pick up some lunch and some random foodie bits that we maybe could do with a bit of a stockpile of and probably grab a coffee as well. Uh, but for horse riding today, I am just wearing... This set is from Aztec Diamond. I um, got the leggings, which have the half um grippers like just on the knees and also it has this pocket which i love because i'm going to be able to pop my phone in there i've got some riding socks on just from holland cooper i'll pop my boots chaps hat the top as well is from aztec diamond it's just like a quarter zip um top they don't have any pockets or anything though these tops so i'd quite like maybe like a little zip up pocket 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 for my phone but then having said that because i've got this on my leg it doesn't really matter um i'll just put my put my phone in there maybe try and get a couple of clips whilst we're there but anyway welcome to the video today hope you guys do enjoy the rest of this vlog make sure if you haven't already get comfy get cozy relaxed feet up i hope you enjoy this video i hope it brings you some kind of peace happiness comfort friendship um and yeah i really hope my videos just in general give you that kind of pick me up feel and wholesome vibe but yeah without further ado let's head over to horse riding and farm shop when I see your face, I can't stop myself from spiraling. Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down. Cause I can focus when you are around. But I will try my best to carry on without you like you've done. Though I'm lost and out of That we're back home just sipping on my coffee that i picked up from the holly's farm shop cute little farm shop i've actually never been into that one i've been to their bigger one that they've got but yeah this one's same stock just on a much smaller scale i would say and the only negative i would have with the hollies both of them is that they're not dog friendly which i always think for gardens well it's not really a garden center because that was the other thing i was hoping to buy some lavender they, i don't think they do that kind of garden center style thing it's more farm shop the holly's farm shop is a farm shop it's not a garden center uh but yeah that's the only sort of negative it's fine today obviously i didn't have barney with me but um i wouldn't go there like on a weekend or whatever to get some stuff knowing that it's not dog friendly it's the same with the big one at um autumn especially when they've got all the kind of like pumpkins out and halloween bits such a lovely trip because it's a bit of a venture out we would always take barney with us if we're going that way because we would factor it in with a bit of a countryside walk um but anyway 
not everywhere can be dog friendly. I appreciate not everyone likes dogs. But anyway, I did pick up some bits from the farm shop. So I will show you what I got. Got a little bit left of that, but the hog roast sausage roll I got for my lunch. And then for dessert. <gasps> and then I'll give Tom the other one for his evening dessert. But these look amazing. Maltese cookies. I also got some gnocchi. This one it happens to be gluten free, but I liked the fact that it's made with spinach. This is my kind of like idea of like a girl dinner if Tom's away one night or whatever and I just want to have some simple gnocchi, olive oil, salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of cheese sprinkled in there with like a side salad. That is my kind of ideal dinner. And then also rye bread. Rye bread always has like a great shelf life. Once it's opened, you then have to eat it. So I always like to just have some rye bread in. I love it with Philadelphia, smoked salmon or avocado and tomatoes, just a nice kind of lunch option. And then we love having mint jelly with any kind of lamb dish that we have. And I've seen that they now do, well, now do. I'm sure this has been a thing for a while, but I've never seen it before. Zingy rosemary jelly, Trackle Mints, this is the brand. They did have mint jelly as well, but I didn't need one. Um, but then I also saw this, which I thought would be really nice with pork so apple and sage jelly that would be nice with uh chicken and then yeah mint jelly for lamb dish but that's that i also decided to get some honey with us both are suffering with hay fever i don't get it as horrendous as tom does but i thought we would get some local cheshire honey because yeah apparently local honey is meant to be good for you as is apparently stinging nettles if you sting yourself with nettles. Now, I haven't tried that one. Don't know if I want to, but who knows? <laughs> but for now, we've just got some local uh, honey. Also got some crackers. I love this company. The fine cheese company crackers that they do are fab. And I've never tried these ones before, the basil ones. And then also, again, for like cheese ball kind of picky bits, Emmental cheese and pumpkin speed. Speed. <laughs> and little crackers and then we've got some little crisps and snacks so we've got some pork scratchings with garlic these i've had before in the original kind of like olive oil uh, flavor and they were so yum so i decided to get the smoked paprika flavor to try and these are sort of things that i pop out if we've got people coming over especially barbecue season fast approaching with euros and the olympics i'm sure we'll be having lots of people over once our garden is finished which it very nearly is and once the summer sun eventually comes so yeah stocked up on a few of these look at this taste of game brand wild boar and apple wild duck and plum sauce they had like pheasant and something else as well i can't remember but yeah i thought they sounded delightful so that is everything barney's come to say hello to you all because i know those of you that um if he's not in a video and you always say you miss barney well here he is with his sniffer going thank you oh i'm so sorry he <laughs> just burped in your face excuse me you can smell the horses on me so i was riding a lovely horse called bouncy and i do love a bouncy and she also, the only other horse that I've ridden there before is called Guinness. I've ridden twice and she came with Guinness. They came from the same owners. So yeah, a bit more sprightly than Guinness was, but for a hack, it was perfect. We've got a little bit of um, canter, trotting. There are some jumps there, so I might book on to do like a cross country jumping kind of hack towards summer where they also take them like paddling in the water and everything, which just sounds so nice and until then i definitely now that i've had that taster for it again today i've got that buzz to book back in so i think i will book in for another couple of lessons maybe try and work on some pole work some small jumps because jumping is my favorite jumping cantering and yeah I, i'm glad i got that lesson booked in now ahead of our holiday to cause because i would love to potentially with them having a horse riding um like uh, stables right next to the hotel that we're staying in cars which is on the beachfront i'm hoping fingers crossed they might do some like beachfront just galloping it's always been a dream of mine so yeah felt good to get out on a hack today and give me that confidence again ahead of that trip where fingers crossed we will have a bucket list opportunity ticks off anyway i'm going to pop these bits away now i am going to get on with editing i've got to edit tomorrow's video or a video that's going live tomorrow so that needs to be done 
pronto. Okay, delivery has arrived from Cooks and Cots. We're just gonna get this all unboxed, popped over in the kind of like corner section of the garden. So this is called the Cape Corner Set. It does look like there's gonna be a bit of building involved. So what I'm gonna do is just wait for Tom. He's just on a call, so I'm gonna get him to come and help me. But the color of it is gorgeous. It's like a beautiful kind of dark beige taupe color. So excited to see it in situ. And then the actual wood itself is kind of like a nice light kind of acacia, light acacia wood, really, really pretty. Let me give you a bit of an update actually in terms of the garden whilst we are here. So the patio has been laid. We do have a few tiles left over that we might just do, get the um, gardener to just do one more run on the end, just to lengthen it ever so slightly. But otherwise, this is what it looks like. This again is the, I've told you guys before, but it's from Cornstone and it is the, Dijon blend limestone and the reason why we haven't done this section is because this is all just going to be units we're going to pop the Gosney kind of like round um, oven on the top of the surface here the rest of it's going to be like kind of cabinets and worktop space the fire is going here but it's going to be like an open bottom so we're going to have it for log storage underneath the fire on top and then they're going to build like a chim chimney surround brick type thing um up and out so obviously the flames smoke whatever goes out and then this i'm not quite sure how we're finishing off this section whether we're going to add more units or have it open like bar area or storage or open shelving i'm not sure um so that's why I just for now anyway we've just put the flags all the way up another idea that i quite liked the idea of was um idea idea <laughs> is to have like a butcher's block there so again more worked up space for tom to be able to have his fire going there and like a butcher's block here for like more prep space and then we're going to have the table along here which is currently up there it's just been sat out of the way of builders way um but yeah that's going to go along here with some chairs either side and on either end and then this section here we've got a space for a lounge set so we'll see once the cox and cox delivery once we've opened it and assembled it whether or not we're going to have it here or over in that corner section where the fire pit is another update the render i mean this inside render needs a bit of a wash but all of the outside render has been finished now and then yeah we've had the flags laid here as well just to um with the surround to match the tiles the porcelain these are just porcelain tiles from mandarin stone i'm trying to remember the name of them. i think they were called cavendish cream uh and yeah that is the tells that everything needs to be grouted we've got some that needs to be grouted here and here we're just going to go for like a buff neutral grout that will just be the same sort of color as the stone and then obviously step down into the garden area we have also had this little feature added underneath the magnolia we originally thought a bench but because of the fork with this magnolia tree it makes it quite wide if you were to have a bench and then the gravel that is currently on order for up here the cotswold stone is also going to be popped here which is the same gravel that is currently over on this kind of corner section this is where i'm thinking having some lavender i'm thinking because lavender is quite low to the ground and bushy it will kind of cover up a lot of that concrete there we'll rejig all of these pots and everything once the entire garden's finished this chimney was left oh yeah it's just around there i'll come and help you now um this chimney was also left in the garden which it's the wrong way around but we're going to keep that as well all the herbs have obviously been planted we've got some more top soil that needs to go on top i'm going to redo all the markers with my nice wooden ones i bought from amazon just to bed these in pro properly and we've also a lot of you have advised to dig back up the um i planted all these yesterday here we go the mint so i've just popped that pot to one side take that up and keep it potted because mint can take over so thank you guys for the tips and recommendations on that we will do that it will just help keep it a bit more contained here he comes i can see what he's gonna he's gonna just want to sit on this 
That's his new bed. Is that your new bed? We're just going to keep them covered for now until we've actually. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> you little naughty. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to keep them protected for now uh, until we've actually built this. But I do think, for now anyway, especially as it's not even finished over there yet, we are going to set it up out here. Was it all just a dream, just all in my head? Floating rivers upstream, the things that you Look at that sun shining. I feel like I've had about 10 outfit changes today, but we've settled on a slick back hair. If I'm gonna spend some time in the garden, I just thought, I did yoga this morning. I had my yoga session um, and quick shower, but I thought I'm not gonna wash my hair just yet. I'll wash it later on tonight, probably after doing some gardening. So yeah, I've settled on just some comfy shorts. These are Girl of Muse ones and I don't, uh, where's this? I think this is Halara, this sports bra. It's like a ribbed, sports bra and then just this little Primark over shirt. I am gonna pop out first and take Barney for a quick walk and hopefully catch some rays because yeah, it's looking pretty good out there. We've decided to build the furniture later on this evening just because Tom's got back to back calls and I think I'm gonna need his help with it. I'm afraid you're not quite the help I need. So we're gonna have to get Tom to help us too. Yeah, he's got back to back calls and then he's in town this afternoon, so we're not going to have a chance to do it until this evening. So that's a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to actually sit on it today. Speaking of sitting on it, the way that he sits on my lap like that, it's just so funny. So yeah, we're going to take him out for a quick walk. It's, oh, I was going to say it's nearing lunchtime. It's actually midday already, so I might grab some lunch whilst we're out. Just grab a meal deal or a little Costa maybe, Starbucks, what should we get? Just get a little bite to eat whilst on a walk and then head back and probably set off to a garden centre to go and pick up that lavender, which I can do this afternoon. Rejig the herb beds, sort that out and wait for Tom this evening to build the Cox and Cox furniture. I'm feeling a little stiff after horse riding yesterday. Um, that yoga actually helped though, I think, stretching out this morning. That's what we were talking about when I was talking about it to one of the ladies who was on the hack with me, uh, saying how it can, when you get off a horse, it can, like, especially if you've not done it for a while, you really feel it in your legs. And she said um, what she started doing was doing a bit of a warm up and a cool down before and after, because you just don't think to do that when you go horse riding, yet you would if you were going for a run. You just do, a couple of little stretches or whatever, or like with the yoga, you start, you ease in and then you ease out. Um, so yeah, it felt nice to do that yoga stretch this morning. Should we go for a walk, mister? Should we get you in the sunshine? Whilst we've got it. In other news, we've literally got just a couple of chapters left before I finish the first book. I'm definitely gonna pick up the second. I'm glad I've got the, uh, the set of them all ready to go. It has been really good so far. A lot of you have said to stick with it as well with the second one getting even better. So I think the second book, as well as the new Housemaid, the third one in the series, I think they will be my holiday books. I might get started with Court of Thorn, well, I don't actually know what the second one's called. Let's have a look. Let's hit back. Court of Mist and Fury. I might get started with that before holiday. Americano, of which I'm enjoying in the sunshine in the garden, and it is honestly glorious. Well, you're a bit hot, aren't you? Should we go get you some water? I had a quick look at the forecast as well, and this is the week 
to get this garden furniture up because I think it's saying sort of 22 to 25 degrees or like for at least seven days. So if we can get this furniture built today, we can really make most of it and enjoy it. And then I think what I might do is buy some of those, you know, like you can get them storage containers um, that we'll probably have down the side just to stockpile all the cushions just to keep them protected. It does also say with it being sort of a natural acacia wood to help prolong the life of your furniture, you can actually, if you want to sand it back and put a PU resistant coating on it every year or however often you want to do it, every couple of years or whatever, just to help, again, prolong the life of the furniture. But yeah, it's looking like a beautiful color. I think it will really complement and this garden and work really nicely in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some styling content for it, do maybe a bit of a before and after on this section, do like an, an Instagram reel. So yeah, if you wanted to follow my Instagram homeware account, Freya Frankton Home, that is where that will be. And we can get some nice kind of outdoor cushions, maybe a trip to HomeSense. I might even do that this afternoon, actually pop over to HomeSense, see what they've got. Um, I just love my home sense trip, <laughs> especially now to be buying furniture stuff with it being the current season because before long, I mean, if I look back at my Instagram from last year, they started getting out the Halloween stuff end of June, early July, which is just crazy early, but yeah, so I feel, feel like if I need to get the garden stuff, I need to be getting it now, really, because before long they'll switch it up, and as they always do, ahead of the season. of hours later we had a very successful trip out to Dobby's uh, garden center of which I bought loads of bits for the garden and I'm gonna unload the car and do that in a second but I also did get a couple of bits from home sense that I thought I would share with you there was a couple of things that I put to one side that I picked up the other day from home sense as well again thinking ahead for the garden I picked up this cute little bird bath which was originally it's Laura Ashley this was 9.99 just love the color of it it's kind of like a greeny tone to it with these two little birds very simple not too pretty and kitsch just nice and simple that I think will pop in the corner like probably the back corner of the garden I want to encourage the birds away from the patio furniture seen online there's a tip you can do with like the big tall trees uh, right above the where the patio furniture will be to just pop some like little mirrors in the trees that just distracts them to go a bit higher up or further towards the back of the trees so maybe we'll do that we'll see how we go but Anyway, I did also pick up this basket, which was $24.99. They had the same but smaller, which my friend Lydia picked up whilst I was with her. She got the smaller one. I think the smaller one was $19.99, but I really liked the tone of this one, the texture. It's kind of like the Neptune one that I have. I have a smaller version from Neptune. But sometimes with the HomeSense baskets, when you get a good one like this, I just think get it whilst you can because it probably won't be there next time. A lot of their baskets are very orangey, yellowy, um, but yeah, that was a really nice kind of natural seagrass kind of white company style basket that I thought I would pick up as like maybe a bit of a laundry basket. You could even use these as plant stands, um, towels, throws to pop in there. I think that's what Lydia bought hers for, like the smaller one for in a bathroom with some rolled up towels. Then I did also pick up this pot. I'm not sure whether it's gonna go inside or outside. It's I think more designed to be an indoor pot with it not having drainage, but you could always make drainage at the bottom or just have it like I'm thinking a lot of my pots outside to just kind of be sat with nothing in. Uh, but yeah, $39.99 this one is, and oh, it's heavy. Really love the kind of like style and shape of this one. Just a simple white pot, that one. I did pick up a couple of huge terracotta pots from Dobby's, which was so nice. And then I got this tray. This was actually from a garden center that I went to with Tom the other day. 
and we saw this this was the only thing that we picked up that was when we were kind of going to suss out what kind of plants that we wanted and I'll pop on screen actually whilst I'm talking about them a couple of images that I have saved on my Pinterest board for uh, the kind of styling that I want to do with those the smaller beds of which I've picked up some plants I might need to go back for some more but I wanted to get those out the car in situ like kind of where I think I'm going to plant them and then if I need to get any more, I can always go back and get them. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we were sussing out on that trip. And whilst we were there, we did spot this tray, which we just thought would be great for hosting because it's so big. And it's got this kind of lacquered inner for popping like chips and dip on here or even like pizzas, like nibbly bits for friends. Um, just a really good uh, staple tray. It was kind of pricey. It was $48.99. did also really randomly pick up phone case. I saw this kind of white silicone one. The one, uh, where's my phone? I think it's out there, but my phone's got like a silicone one at the minute from Apple, I think it was, and it's peeling away at the side. So I thought I would get this one with this really nice kind of neutral cream color. I thought I'd pick that up at $7.99. These two were actually TK Maxx these two um but i saw these blow dry clips just clear clips at 4.99 that i thought would be good for as and when i'm doing my hair i quite like to if i want the curls to hold a little bit more then i'll kind of use my curler hold it up whilst it's cooling down and then use one of these clips to clip and kind of like pin it until my whole hair is done. I saw this in the kitchen section. It's like a little olive oil container that you can decant some olive oil into and have it with the kind of pouring spout. Very kind of vintage. You can even use this styling on like a kitchen shelf, utility, pantry rather. Um, and there was no price on it. So they priced it at $2.99 for me, which I said yes. Then I went online and I saw that Dunelm are actually selling this at the moment. It's from, what brand did they say it's from? Kitchen Craft or something like that. Um, and they're selling it at £18. So yeah, the fact that I got this for £2.99 and I thought, what a bargain. Another thing for outdoor dining and for hosting, I thought this would come in really handy at £14.99. It's one of these seagrass raffia kind of trays that again, you can pop nibbles on, even if you pop a plate on there with the nibbles on it to obviously protect this and then just have that cover to keep any pesky flies away, of which, speaking of flies, I got bit by a horse fly whilst I was at the garden center. I saw, I, I felt it on my knee, and I was like, ooh, it was like a little injection. Now I look down, and you know when you just, then you click that the pain was from a bite, and you're like, no, because I saw it just sat on my knee, flicked it off, um, and yeah, it's already, it's already coming up a little bit which is so annoying i also got from um the pet section they had this barber spray it was only four pounds in the clearance this one and it's a little dog bed fresher spray the only thing i'm missing is a little cap so that might be why it was in the clearance but i had a little spritz of it and i thought oh, that smells lovely speaking of barney i did also get him a little toy um just to replace some of his older toys i always like to have a bit of a one in one out policy because his toy basket is already full he'll love because tug of war as well as the coffee wood that they can chew one was 5.99 and then last but not least i picked up this which again for hosting and outdoor kitchen dining i thought this bucket for cold drinks will come in really handy it's huge and just to fill this with a load of ice for when we've got people coming over it's just nice for everyone to kind of like help themselves to just me to just keep this stocked up with beers and diet cokes and stuff like that uh 19.99 i thought for the size of that really affordable i never thought that our fault was a one like you and up to earth without a single Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with the placement of everything so far. A bit of a mixture of different heights, predominantly white. Uh, we have got some lavender in there as well. Some of this grass, which I love, and I think it adds that kind of volume. The only thing with these as well, especially lavender, it does expand quite a bit. It will get a bit bigger, so that's why I thought we'll go for these kind of smaller ones 
first and then this one was in the sale for like 3 99 so if that doesn't last I can always just replant a new one um but yeah I feel like I'm happy with that we've got some bigger kind of flowers here some little cosmos here again white lavender and then I love these like rodanthiums and then what was this one called this is really pretty as well this is salvia i'll show you the pot actually i managed to get the smaller one out but the larger one i would say is a bit bigger than that galvanized bin i might plant that one with because it's quite a wide rim i feel like a plant like the um probably the rodanthiums or something would look quite nice potted in that i think i might go back and buy some bark as well we'll give them a quick water whilst they're just potted here looking forward to seeing it all coming together run away from you cause baby i am done I did my love for you so please won't you run run away with me we're making progress we have built the left and right arm to this sofa, the corner, we just need to do the connector, which is literally a couple of screws to connect them all together. And then the table. And then we're done. Oh, in fact, no, we need to add this onto the underneath of this one. Yep, that goes here, like so. It is quite late this evening for us to be outside the sun is just about setting but we are all done i'm just keeping it covered for tonight because i'm going to style it and everything do all of that filming for the instagram reel tomorrow as for this vlog i'm going to sign it off here thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed it subscribe for more give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys Where's Barney? There he is.